and we are back for next time. Uh, we're going to be doing the boss of the Pacific, which is Farnsworth. We've got a lock on Farnsworth's location. He sure has something standing in the way. But get there and finish this. Hey, this is the final level of the original game. Everything beyond this would be the Mars DLC. We are going to be using the uh, Carlson Mark Wichmerdard with Fortify Plus Quick Load. I wish I had Fortify Plus slash Quick Load or Fortify Plus Plus Quick Load or something, but that's the best I think we can get. Uh, we're going to be using, guess what, Gungnir. Guess what, second Gungnir. Um, emplacements are completely irrelevant. Uh, but I may as well get in a... For boss runs, I usually go machine gun and repair crane. Um, so if you have three, that's even less relevant because you'll kill the boss before anything even happens. Uh, it says recommended gear Moxie. I actually have no idea what that's a reference to, but it's a reference to something. Uh, I can't actually remember what, but either way. I'll probably look it up at some point and say it later, but we're going to do this mission in record time. Double Gungnir nonsense. The downside, of course, is I won't actually... Ooh, I'm looking at the ground. Won't actually be able to kill anything uh, other than Farnsworth, but it doesn't matter because we're going to be sitting up here mauling his face. Not sure why I deployed it, but whatever. Oh, right, we have to walk forward to trigger it, I believe. So we'll walk forward a little bit. It should. There it goes. Then we walk back and shoot it in the face. Vladimir, is that you in there? Hello. I am everywhere, Brad. I span the world on a network of like and truth. I am the fresh spring in the center of the universe. Looks like you're just the old nut in the center of a fruitcake to me, Vlad. Mmm, fruitcake. You are merely a glitch in the signal. And the time has come to tune you out. Indeed, the reason you don't want to stand up here is because he will fire a laser beam at your face. Also, Double Gungnir does not care for your weakness. I am stuck. Oh, this will just sit back here. This level does have lightning strikes, uh, which means you are going to take damage because you're probably going to be what I'm doing and deploy yourself. You should easily survive it. Plus, that gives you uh, scrap, so you can plop down a repair if need be. Kill you. I think it's the left one next. Or he's gonna scream about something and do some laser beam. Yeah, he is. Just, just let me, let me shoot you, please. That shouldn't hit us. No, he hits the front end there. He'll blow up turrets and whatnot. You're dead. He's gonna fire another laser beam? Nope. Hello, Ariel. You appear to be blowing up my repair thing. I'd appreciate it if you didn't do that. I may as well put like a machine gun down somewhere just to kill him. Although well, he's probably gonna, yep, he's probably gonna kill that before that happens, sadly. I never mentioned this before, but the lightning strikes actually do give you scrap. It's a little weird, but they do. Whoop. Now that broadcast was wasted on Woo! Can I fire a gun here at you? I will find you, grab you with his arms, and wring the broadcast out of you like water from a rat. You have fun with that. Why haven't you shut this freak up yet? Because he's evil. You're gonna have to redeploy here, but I'm gonna wait a second. Before I do that, eh, he's not gonna do it, is he? You're loud, aren't you, sir? His little weak spot will plop out eventually here. There it goes. I don't think you need to fire both of them, but I did anyway. For funsies. This boss is very difficult if you're not using Gungnirs. If you're not using Gungnirs, though, I'm not sure what you're doing. What are you doing? Stop that. Stop hissing and show your weak point, please. Yeah, lasers. Woo. You blew up my turret. You only have a small amount of time to actually hit it. Luckily, he's an idiot. And let me hit both of them. 
Don't go near those, by the way. They hurt. Actually, I can show it to you if I can get over there in time. Nope. Alright, well. Farnsworth is dead. Woo, absolute silence. It's over. Hmm, silence. For dramatic effects. And then I believe we get a cutscene here. A joyous cutscene. There's your, your gold, by the way. Uh, probably the best you'll get with one person is about 160. So Also, we got rank 10. Woo! You should be at least rank 10 before you go into the, uh, the Mars DLC stuff. We got another scythe. Wow. <laughs> okay. Lucky me. Farnsworth was barely recognizable in the end. And not because of us. The broadcast had deformed him. Was this to be my fate as well? The men celebrated. The world celebrated. Who was I to point out the obvious? That we still didn't know what the broadcast was, what it wanted, or when it would return. We only knew one thing. That we'd be ready for it. Farnsworth was gone. I didn't miss him. But when the monovisions flickered back to life, I missed knowing who my enemy was. Because if Vlad was dead, then who or what was it that started up the broadcast again? By the way, this is part of the Mars DLC that came up here. That's why it's slightly different. Only thing we knew? It was coming from somewhere very far away. But hey, that's why they call us the Mobile Trench Brigade. That is why that came up suddenly and started talking about stuff. That is actually part of the Mars DLC that comes up uh, when you load up the game after winning. Assuming you didn't beat it with the DLC already installed, which I have because this is the PC version which comes with the DLC. Which is a lovely jovely. By the way, there's your uh, there's your victory in the Pacific. The next area is the uh, Mars stuff, which is incredibly difficult, especially solo. Uh, it's built for for multiplayer, entirely multiplayer is what that stuff's built for. So it'll be very difficult. I'd be surprised if I even pass half of the levels on the first try. Either way, we're gonna uh, end it here. Thanks for watching, and back to getting golds. Woo, golds.